All right, so we're on my 2016 GMC Sierra, and this truck's got just a little over 110,000 miles. Hopefully you're able to see that. It looks like there might be some glare. Uh, and I've seen over the years uh, controversy. Some people believe that odometer reading or the mileage is not stored in any of the modules. Other people says it is. Some people think it's only stored in the cluster, and that's it. So I'm going to show you, and the reason they think that is whenever they look at their scan tool and they pull up all the uh, data pids, they never find the mileage readout. So, uh, for instance, on Chrysler's, it's, it's there in one of the data pids. You can actually pull it up, and you can see it in a data pid. Usually it's toward the bottom. And uh, I can't remember what module, the PCM, I think, on a, on a Chrysler product is where the mileage is usually stored. Um, but then you, you look at the ECM or uh, any of the other modules on a GM and you never find it. Well, I'm going to show you where it is. It's actually stored on two different modules. And one of the reasons you may want to know that is if you want to verify that the mileage is correct, and, you know, for instance, you're buying a used car uh, or you suspect that the mileage has been altered, you can compare the, the modules and make sure that it's that they're both reading what is displayed up on the uh, odometer or the cluster. So anyway, I'm going to show uh, here on my X-Tool D8. Uh, the procedure on how to do it. So. We're here on the, uh, the X-Tool D8. I'm just going to hit Auto Scan. And, of course, you see where it says uh, GMC Sierra 2016. And I'm just going to do System Selections. And th the first thing I'll, I'll do is go ahead and hit ECM. Because a lot of people think that that's where it's stored. Now, this has got the 8-speed M5U transmission. And I'll just scroll through the entire data PID list to show that the mileage is not uh, displayed there. So there's the live data. And you can click over here on the event information, inspection. You can click on everything. You're not going to find it uh, here in the ECM. But I'll show you the two modules that, it, that it's displayed in and where it's displayed because it's not in the data PID list. So I'm just going to scroll through this and you can just look and, and uh, verify that the mileage is not displayed here. And sometimes you have to convert uh, the my sometimes in the modules it's actually listed as kilometers and you just got to convert it I usually just pull up my phone calculator and the, the default calculator on my phone's actually got a uh, converter uh, built-in converter for converting all kinds of units but you can see right there you know it's got distance since DTC cleared but that's not the uh, the uh, the actual mileage of the vehicle so let's go back uh, we're done with the engine data because it's just not listed there, and I'll show you where it is listed. So where you want to go is body control uh, computer. Oh, we got to go back one more, two more. Body control module. This got light emitting diodes uh, for headlights, and this one I could have picked it, any one of those three right there. And, what we're looking at, it's, it'd still be fine. Now, just to show you on the body control module, th all these are just different parameter, different uh, data PID list, and none of these are going to show the mileage. For instance, chassis control data. You would think it would be under chassis control. You know, mileage. You know, does indicate the entire chassis of the vehicle, or is supposed to. And I'll scroll through. You can verify that it is not listed there. So where you got to go is right here where it says read ECU information.
and then you got to scroll. It'll have software and hardware part numbers and, and stuff. And once you scroll toward the bottom, you're going to find odometer, and it's going to have your odometer uh, mileage. Now, what I don't, what I've never been able to figure out is why what's on the odometer isn't usually exactly what the scan tool shows. It, it should be close. For instance, right here it's showing 110,347 miles and the truck is showing 110,414. So I don't know why there's a little bit of discrepancy there, but I've seen that on pretty much every vehicle I've ever worked on. Now there's another place. If you want to verify that the mileage is correct, uh, you'll want to look at the BCM, but you're also uh, going to want to go over here to, where is it at? Oh, right next to it, instrument cluster. does have heads-up display on this truck. Uh, again, you can go into live data. You're not going to find it. In fact, let me, let me show you that just to prove to you. There's all the data pits for the instrument cluster. So, read ECU information. Odometer. There you go. 110,347. So there's the two modules that you're going to want to uh, to look at on most your GM vehicles and compare those two with what's up on the dash. And uh, that will give you a uh, indication of what the actual mileage is. And most of your scan tools will do it. Like I say, my launch, same exact way. Uh, my Altec. All tells the same way, and this X tool DH the same way. E even if you have a lesser expensive, a less expensive scan tool, as long as it shows your ECU information, it should have the odometer reading in there. And remember, it's the BCM and the uh, instrument cluster module is where you're going to need to look. Anyway, that's all I got. I just wanted to show that I, I just got off of a forum. And there's a big debate, people saying that it is stored. A lot of people, most of the people that that seem to think they knew it was, that it was stored in a module seem to think it was in the ECM module. Others was trying to say it's the transmission control module. Well, it's neither one of those. Uh, it's the BCM, body control module, and the instrument cluster module. And they are stored there, but you can't find it in the regular data list you have to go into the module information. Now, also on this particular tool, when you back out of it, it gives you a report, and as you can see, it's got mileage listed there. So, and this actually is showing the exact mileage that's on the vehicle. So you can see it shows 110,413. So, my launch does not do this, uh, and this is just a little report that, uh, you know, you, you, it just shows you the parameters of the vehicle. And this was a new update on this X tool. It, it didn't used to do this screen, but it does now. I don't know how many other vehicles it's going to give this same report uh, on, but... Uh, with, I think it was the latest update. Might have been the update before it started doing this. So pretty cool little deal. But I'll, you know, you can notice that you've got the mileage listed there also. Anyway, that's all I got. You guys take care. We'll see you.